Researchers make significant step towards realizing generalized medical artificial intelligence for high accuracy and cost-effective medical imaging diagnostics. Medical imaging is an important part of modern healthcare, enhancing precision, reliability, and development of treatment for various diseases. Artificial intelligence has also been widely used to further enhance the process. However, conventional medicine image diagnosis employing AI algorithms require large amounts of annotations as supervision signals for training. To acquire accurate labels for the AI algorithms, radiologists, as part of the clinical routine, prepare radiology reports for each of their patients, followed by annotation staff extracting and confirming structured labels from those reports using human-defined rules and existing natural language processing tools. The ultimate accuracy of extracted labels hinges on the quality of work from various natural language processing tools. The method comes at a heavy price, being both labor-intensive and time-consuming. An engineering team at the University of Hong Kong has developed a new approach called REFERS, which stands for Reviewing Free Text Reports for Supervision, which can cut human costs down by 90% by enabling automatic acquisition of supervision signals from hundreds of thousands of radiology reports at the same time. It attains a high accuracy in predictions, surpassing its counterpart of conventional medical image diagnosis employing AI algorithms. The innovative approach marks a solid step towards realizing generalized medical artificial intelligence. This breakthrough was published in Nature Machine Intelligence in a paper titled Generalized Radiograph Representation Learning via Cross-Supervision Between Images and Free Text Radiology Reports. AI-enabled medical image diagnosis has the potential to support medical specialists in reducing their workload and improving the diagnostic efficiency and accuracy, including but not limited to reducing the diagnosis time and detecting subtle disease patterns. Researchers believe abstract and complex logical reasoning sentences in radiology reports provide sufficient information for learning easily transferable visual features. This approach called REFERS, or Reviewing Free Text Reports for Supervision, directly learns radiograph representations from free text reports without the need to involve manpower in labeling. For training REFERS, the research team uses a public database of 370,000 X-ray images and associated radiology reports on 14 common chest diseases. The researchers managed to build a radiograph recognition model using 100 radiographs only and attained 83% accuracy in predictions. When the number was increased to 1,000, their model exhibited amazing performance with an accuracy of 88.2%, which surpasses its counterpart trained with 10,000 radiologist annotations with an accuracy of 87.6%. When 10,000 radiographs were used, the accuracy was 90.1%. In general, an accuracy above 85% in predictions is useful in real-world clinical applications. REFERS achieves the goal by accomplishing two report-related tasks, an example, report generation and radiograph report matching. In the first task, REFERS translates radiographs into text reports by first encoding radiographs into an intermediate representation, which is then used to predict text reports via a decoder network. A cost function is defined to measure the similarity between predicted and real report texts based on which gradient optimization is employed to train the neural network and update its weights. As for the second task, REFERS first encodes both radiographs and free text reports into the same semantic space, where representations of each report and its associated radiographs are aligned via contrastive learning. Compared to conventional methods that heavily rely on human annotations, REFERS has the ability to acquire supervision from each word in the radiology reports. The amount of data annotation can now be substantially reduced by 90% and the cost to build medical AI, which marks a breakthrough step towards realizing generalized medical artificial intelligence. Machine learning and proteomics predict cardiovascular disease more accurately. Cardiovascular disease remains one of the primary causes of death in most industrialized and developing nations. The prevention of cardiovascular disease depends largely on its timely diagnosis in order to initiate cardioprotective therapies. However, there remains a lack of an accurate risk model to predict an individual's susceptibility to cardiovascular disease. A new science translational medicine study describes an innovative proteomics-based model that predicts the risk of cardiovascular events within the next four years with higher accuracy than current clinical models. The researchers measured 5,000 proteins in each sample of plasma and applied machine learning to the results to develop a prognostic model. The model used 27 proteins and predicted the absolute risk that any of the multiple components that made up the composite endpoint, some of which included heart attack, stroke, 
hospitalization for heart failure, and mortality from any cause would occur within the next four years. The model developed in the current study showed a consistent correlation between the event rate and predicted absolute risk, which surpasses currently available prognostic models. Moreover, the current model had more than double the dynamic range and reclassified cardiovascular risk better. The model is also biologically coherent, as various biological processes that are involved in cardiovascular health are mediated and regulated by proteins. All 27 proteins used in the model were associated with the processes that predict the higher cardiovascular risk. Of these, 16 and 12, respectively, were part of a database exploring the correlation between these proteins and the genome, and were connected with one genetic factor for cardiovascular disease or one of its risk factors. Under conditions of positive, negative, and neutral changes in risk factors, this protein-based model shows true reductions, increases, or no changes in the predicted absolute risk. When other conditions associated with an increase in cardiovascular events were incorporated to the analysis, including smoking and diabetes, the model continued to predict elevated risk correctly. It also predicted that untreated high systolic blood pressure and high lipid levels in the same group would enhance the risk. This shows that the surrogate is universal and will respond to a change in outcome irrespective of the mechanism. This multi-protein model is also more sensitive to risk factors than individual biomarkers. Further work along the same lines may provide a very necessary universal surrogate endpoint for cardiovascular risk. Full color night vision is almost a reality after deep learning breakthrough. Researchers used infrared images to recreate a near-perfect photo in visible light. The monochromatic black and green that defined night vision for decades is quickly receding into the past. A new proof-of-principle study offers intriguing hints about how the next generation of such technology might work. In a recent paper published in the academic journal PLOS One, researchers demonstrate that a deep learning algorithm can build a full-color reconstruction of a scene using only infrared images which the human eye would not be able to see. It's important to note that the human eye can only see a narrow slice of the electromagnetic spectrum, specifically the range roughly between 400 nanometers, which the human brain registers as violet, and 700 nanometers, which the human brain perceives as red. It's not a technical challenge to take photos in infrared light. The challenge is rendering those images in visible light so a human viewer can make sense of what they're seeing. But now there's new technology that could render the infrared light perfectly visible. The researchers behind the new study started by printing images of color palettes and faces. Then they created a data set by taking photos of those images using a monochromatic camera that can be set to take photos at very specific wavelengths. They took photos of the faces under monochromatic light sources of various wavelengths in the visible and near-infrared spectrums. With these digital files in hand, they built on decades of research in computer science to develop and test a deep learning algorithm that could begin with infrared images and would infer what the scene would look like in the visible spectrum. Under these admittedly ideal conditions, the researchers found that one of their algorithms, using deep UNET-based architectures, was able to transform a set of three infrared images into a full-color photo that very closely resembled a normal photo of the same image. While consumers probably won't see this technology in night vision goggles anytime soon, this proof of concept shows that full-color night vision is certainly on the horizon.